throw a lot of y'all been asking me how do I make my uh, power water is what I call it so I'm gonna show you how to do it mason bowl okay first thing is beetroot powder we're gonna do two teaspoons of this okay next step is spirulina two uh, teaspoons next step is ashwagandha powder same measurement next step is clove powder then I have cor Coriella right here same measurements next up activated charcoal this acts as a binder for these other ones same measurement you don't really need as much but I'll do like a, a teaspoon or a quarter or half a teaspoon it's whatever you want to do it's the binder next up I got baking soda I got baking soda you know what this is the step here that A1 you know from Colombia <laughs> just a, a tablespoon or two a teaspoon or two excuse me next up we're gonna do some turmeric just a little bit you know just dabble dabble now for this next ingredient cinnamon ground cinnamon you can use actual cinnamon like the sticks and set them in your water bottle but i'm just using this for video purposes i have the sticks too but ground cinnamon there's plenty of good brands out there i'm just using this for convenience couple sprinkles then we got the celtic sea salt you know what i'm saying this is it's super good for your body so this give you about 80 to 88 minerals you need per day which is a little pinch in your water so even if you don't do this recipe you could just do water or baking soda with this and that'll keep you hydrated but two teaspoons probably three some people know about black seed oil this is black cumin seed powder I'm going to put about a couple of teaspoons in here. This by itself is really good for you. Black seed oil or black seed powder. This says cumin. You know what I'm saying? But it's still good. So I'm putting this in there too. <laughs> it's real earthy. But I swear you're going to be like, damn, I got so much energy. I don't know what the hell going on today. You'll be out here breaking backs and not knowing where it's coming from. But you know where it's coming from. So next thing is apple cider vinegar make sure you have the mother when you see that brown at the bottom that's the mother i just shook it up so make sure you have the mother at the bottom so i'm gonna probably put like a cap in each one of the water bottles so these are the size of the water bottles i got a little and that's the mix of everything i haven't mixed it yet but that's how i look so what i got here is hibiscus tea so you basically take hibiscus leaves and boil them in water and then you sift the water um into a container i just use what i had so if y'all like oh it's plastic whatever <laughs> use what you got so now that we got those in the glass jars i'm gonna pour a little bit of this and then fill it up with water shake them up and put them in the fridge so you can see that's earth right there that's straight earth you know that's gonna be earthy <laughs> that's how they look you can tell that stuff earthy, boy, but it's really good for your body. Now that I put the hibiscus in there, the vinegar, all the good fixings, all you do is add some water, shake it up, and I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on. Hey, shake it up. I know it looked like dirt, straight earth, <laughs> but one of these a day, your appetite curved, you get to clean out your kidneys, your liver. You got energy. You can break backs out. This is good for after and before workouts. The minerals help to restore your muscles. Shake it up real good. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, with the fresh honey sticks sitting in those, it's a lot better. <laughs> I'm just giving you a heads up. Like, for real. <laughs> and the shelf life on these is probably like a week or two. You know, if you ain't doing nothing with it, it's just herbs and water. So it can last a while, probably more longer than that. That's just the minimum. So, you know, just shake it up with water. You should be good to go. There's a couple things about that. You can add lemon, lime, whatever other fruits you want. If you want to do that, you can have it hot like a tea. You can take all that and instead of putting it in cold water, you can put it in hot water. You can add honey. 
uh, whatever you want to give it a better taste and it'll still be effective. It's good stuff. This is also good for a fast. So if you're starting like a water fast or something, this is something you can drink on a water fast or fast in general. This will help curb your appetite greatly. <laughs> if you're from Houston, you can double cup this. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> you'll mess around. Be sleepy and healthy. Man, I feel energized. <laughs> but anyway, I gotta go drink this mug up. Y'all probably want to see me drink this, but I'm going to show y'all. Here we go. I ain't going to drink the whole thing. I'm going to just have a sip. I'm not going to go sit here and lie to you like that. But I have a sip because I'm going to start drinking these again tomorrow. It smell like straight earth. Man, that vinegar helped a lot. So, it offsets it a lot. So... Add that vinegar and that cinnamon too. It'll help it. It's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be like, ah, but it's like, mm. I did a great job. I'm going to add a little more hibiscus. But hey, and that's how you make super water. Not regular water. Super water. <laughs> you know how they be selling stuff on TikTok. You want to get this. This is limited edition. This came straight from Gaia. Limited shipping, look at that. <laughs> I hope y'all have a good one. Thank y'all for tuning in.